Hey, 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 it's my Sagittarius folks. I hope that all of you guys have been doing well. And I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back for your October 2017 sensual tarot reading. I know that you guys like the sensual tarot readings. So, Sagittarius. I'm going to start off by saying that this is a general reading, so be sure to look into your sun, sun moon, and rising signs to um, have a complete overview of what energies may be taking place within your charts, okay? And if you would like a private or a personal reading, click down in the description box below. My website will be listed there. I do have products on my website as well as services, All right? Spirit, what will be the overall energy for my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers for October 2017? In love and romance. Now, this particular reading is in regards to um, Love, romance, and the sensual energies. Um, if you're in a partnership, okay, you're married, if you're connected to anyone romantically, okay, fuck a buddy, whatever it may be, okay, this is for you, okay, and we're gonna be finding out. We want to know from spirit what it is that your partner desires from you, okay? As well as what the overall energies for the month will be between you and your lover. energy that we have this month for my Sagittarius lovers is the worth card okay so this month I do feel like you'll be finding out whether or not your relationship is worth the energy and effort that you've been placing into your relationship okay for some of you guys you might be questioning the worth of your relationship or there may be times throughout this month where you are feeling very lucky to have your partner in your life. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards to get a little bit more clarification on this card. So what will be taking place for my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers on love and romance? Okay, so Sagittarius, I do feel like this month that you will be, um, I feel like somebody is pregnant right now. Someone is pregnant and they're waiting for their pregnancy to come to an end. Someone is very excited about a pregnancy. Um, I'm also seeing that for a lot of you Sagittarius people that you guys have your emotions in check and um, that things are going really well within your relationship right now. I think that um, for some of you guys, you guys have been waiting for your relationship to progress for a while and um, things are beginning to pick up. You know, things are, are looking really good. I'm seeing that for some of you guys, you guys have really been working on your relationship and that you and your partner have come together and are really trying to um, create that that force of energy, of, you know, that yin and that yang, 
that partnership type energy where you guys are really working really hard to 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 make your relationship a successful one you have two threes here so three is a really positive energy um, i'm seeing a lot of abundance within your relationship okay let's get some more clarification here spirit give me some clarification in regards to my sagittarius viewers and subscribers Call. Okay, Sagittarius, I do see in the past that there was some arguments, some um, disagreements, and some battles between you and your partner and in the in the month of September and maybe even the previous months prior to that. There was some battles. And, um, you know, I feel like that things now are beginning to get a little bit better than what they were before. Um, the disagreements and the arguments... Um, the stagnation that was occurring in your previous, in the previous month, September, August, um, you and your partner are really beginning to come together this month and um, gain control over uh, that this negativity that was previously kind of corroding the relationship, okay? Someone was ignoring someone in the past and they were waiting around to see what was going to take place. Um, they didn't really know exactly what to do in regards to the issues within the relationship or how to pick up the pu the pieces of the puzzle, okay? Um, I'm seeing that someone is either involved with an earth sign, so we're looking at Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, and I'm also seeing some fire energy and lots of air energy. So I am seeing um, a particular female that is a, uh, a air sign. This is a Gemini a Libra or a Aquarius that was really, you know, kind of um, unemotional, you know, um, I'm seeing some arguments or even where there may be an, there may have been an incident in the past where this particular Libra was very cutting with his or her words. I'm seeing feminine energy here. Um, however, I am seeing that whatever issues were taking place in September or where there was ignoring, there was some battling and beefing that these issues are going to come to a head. They're going to come to a peak. and um, But you guys are eventually going to work on these particular problems. I am also seeing that, um, that there is going to be a time, and this is either towards the end of September or the beginning of October where... Okay, sorry about that camera cut off, but yes, there will be a time where you guys are going to come back together, where these particular energies this month in October are going to come to a head, and I do feel like this is the beginning of October, um, but there will be, I don't want to say reconciliation, but you guys are going to start focusing on the issues within your relationship and coming together as a unit to kind of... Um, evaluate some of these issues and figure out what it is that you need to do in order to um, pick up the pieces and move forward here okay let's go ahead and get some clarification for your cards Again, clearly I am seeing um, someone is dealing with 
and struggling with some negative energies. And this could be you, Sagittarius, or your, signif your significant other. There may be outsiders or someone within um, your partner's family or your family. Um, or this could be your own personal demons or your partner's personal demons where um, they may be questioning your morality. And this could be you questioning your partner's morals or your partner questioning yours. And that's creating a lot of beef and a lot of stagnation, arguments, insecurities as well. But again, like I had said before, someone is ignoring someone, okay, the outsider. Now, this could represent that someone is actually ignoring someone. And that's the main thing that I'm seeing here. But this could also represent that maybe some, this could be you or your partner not giving you enough time due to work. Because I see that someone works quite a bit. And I feel like someone works to the point where um, their partner is not receiving en enough attention, okay? They're not getting enough affection within the relationship, and this is causing a lot of issues and stirrups as well because um, we have the participation card here. So, um, again, I do feel like this represents that there is going to be um, a time where you come together, and this is going to be in the beginning of October, possibly mid-October, where you guys are going to come together and really start working and focusing on the issues within the relationship here. All right, also on the bottom of the deck, we have the turning in card. So this is all about focusing on, you know, outsiders, the negative energies and, and people that may be trying to um, manipulate the relationship, as well as on, you know, focusing on your, your, your demons and trying to stay positive and control your thoughts as well as your, your emotions, Sagittarius. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look into what it is that your partner wants very quickly. And remember, this is a central tarot reading, so we are going to get to that towards the end of this reading. Okay. Okay, spirit, so what does my Sagittarius, their lovers, their partners, want from them within this relationship? Under the deck, we have the let go card. So this is all about letting go of the past, okay? Past hurts, past, past pains, insecurities, and fears, Sagittarius. Um, we also have the crab card. So this is all about working on the relationship, coming together. But this is also about independence and your own creativity here, okay? But I definitely feel like this also represents the tranquility within your relationship, coming together, working together very hard, and being a strong unit, okay? I do have a feeling that someone has a business with their significant other here. Okay, let's go ahead and Sagittarius, what does your significant other want from you in love and romance? Okay, under the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So this is all about grudges, holding on to grudges. Okay, so I do have a feeling with this particular card that um, Spirit is saying that your partner wants you to, again, let go of the past, move forward. Okay, this is all about acceptance with the Six of Pentacles here. Accepting, okay, being more giving, being more caring. Okay, receiving. So if your partner is coming to you and really want to speak or talk, be accepting to their love and, um, you know, be accepting to communication, okay, or whatever offer is given to you, okay? Your partner wants to take whatever offer, whatever it is that they're trying to give to you, they want you to be more accepting to them, okay? And this also is an indication that your partner wants you to be more giving, okay? 
we have the king of pentacles here so again i'm seeing lots of earth energy but this is all about being grounded mentally spiritually okay and within the relationship okay this is also about financial security i do have a feeling that there is a woman that may be dealing with a masculine uh, masculine energy a male of course that may be a uh, capricorn virgo or taurus and they're wanting financial stability here they're wanting their significant other to help them out more financially to be more giving okay and then we have the knight of cups so again this is all about emotional messages emotions feelings um and expressing these emotions and feelings okay so i'm seeing that your partner is wanting acceptance reconciliation forgiveness from you and just overall for the the, the relationship to be a grounded and um receptive relationship where the love the love on your partner's side is received and accepted all right so let's go ahead and look into the romantic and sensual aspects of your relationship Sagittarius. Spirit. What does Sagittarius partner want from them? In the bedroom. Essential energies for October. Sagittarius. The first card that we have here is the Two of Clits. Okay. And to these pictures, I'm seeing the masculine energy being very dominant, taking over. We have the Two of Clits. So balance. Okay. We have the Five of Testicles. And we also have the Queen of Clits. So lots of clit play. <laughs> Okay. Lots of kinkiness. If you see with the queen of clits here, we see um, oral sex here. And we're also seeing that the man has his arms kind of behind his back. So I'm seeing definitely lots of kinky energy. Okay. Lots of kinky energy. I'm seeing mainly um, the masculine energy more or less kind of taking over the feminine energy. So I do feel like the masculine energy is more or less wanting to be the, um, you know, the one, the giver, okay? And the feeling that I get here is this is due to maybe the masculine energy being the one that's ignored and wanting you to be more accepting of what it, what it is that they have to give, okay? So I'm definitely seeing some reconciliation, um, and the masculine energy wanting to give to the feminine energy here. So, um, yeah, I just, the only, the feeling that I get here is just a reconciliation, makeup, makeup, um, sex. All right. Let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice for your relationship. Sagittarius. We got a pop out card. Still gonna go ahead and draw another card though. This is your card, Sagittarius. All right, so first, the first card that we have is love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So Spirit is definitely telling you to forgive, to let go, and to move forward within this relationship. Don't, don't hold grudges and don't hang on to things that took place in the past. It's time to move forward, Sagittarius. And the second card that we have is Romance. So lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Now, isn't this just what I said? So this definitely resonates with your reading, Sagittarius, as Spirit is definitely telling you to embrace 
your significant other and to move forward and to accept apologies that are given to you this month as I do feel that October will be a great month for you and your significant other to grow and to prosper. All right, you guys have a great month. I'll see you guys again mid-October. Stay blessed, stay well, and ashe.